Hey guys, Sunny back with another video, and today I will be showing you how to fix Game Center on any iOS device running any iOS version that is a jailbreakable. Now, as to of today, nine point iOS nine point three point three and below is able to be jailbroken, and you're gonna need a jailbroken device to do this. You don't need a computer. I mean, you could use it to save the files. I'll be going through every step on how to fix the game center issue like i already fixed my game center it's loading up and perfectly fine but some people if you're having these issues like game center crashes game center um doesn't load throughout the games making your um your games not load or it's just showing a white screen and just freezing your device or if you go into settings and click on the game center tab, it'll freeze your settings. If you're having any of those issues, this is the video for you. So what you want to do first, I'm just going to state here, I am not responsible for your phone. So if you screw this up, it's on you and not my fault. Just going to say it out there right now and uh, get it out there. Now, what I recommend is you back up your phone in iTunes first. So you could do that. And then you could come back to watch this video, but whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Now, you could do this through OpenSSH or SSH into your phone from a computer using, um, uh, like, PuTTY or WinSCP or iFunbox. I'm just going to be using iFile um, because this is how I, how I made mine uh, get back to normal and uh, fix it. So, without further ado, let's uh, get started. So now go into iFile, and what you want to do is, uh, so first of all, download iFile from Cydia, then go into your iFile here. I'll link you guys below on which iFile I used. Um, so now what you want to do is just go all the way back till you see, like, um, all of this, like, trashes, applications, bin, boot. Cores, dev, developer, etc, lib, library, all of that. When you see that, go to the following tab. Um, it is, I believe, you know what, actually not I believe, it is private. So click on, whoops, click on private, var, mobile, so look for mobile, here's mobile. Okay, then go into library. After library, scroll down until you see Game Kit. Click on Game Kit. Now, you can back up this whole thing to your computer if you want, or you can save this to VAR Mobile just in case. I mean, as I said, I'm not responsible if you mess up your device. I mean, I don't think this will mess up your device in any way because I did it and it worked perfectly fine for me and it, I'm actually happy because it got my game center back working. Now, uh, you would want to back up this just in case something goes wrong. You'll probably wind up... I mean, you'll probably delete this backup once you get your game center working, of course. Um, then on your phone, you're going to need to delete any loose files in the uh, game kit directory. So here's your game kit. You would want to delete um, loose files, meaning like this right here. Bulletins, dot bulletins, quick action bundle, identifier, quick actions. These are loose files that are not in a folder, so you would want to delete those. And after doing deleting that, um, next you're going to need to go inside this delay request folder. And it doesn't matter how many folders you have. You might have, like, a lot of folders. That could be why your game center is corrupted. Um, then what you want to do is just select all of them and just delete them. So now, so delete your entire, um, all of these, and then click out and delete this folder too, I believe, right? Let me get my notes out. Hold on. Actually, no, do not delete this. Do not delete delayed requests. Sorry about that. Um, it was my mistake. I thought I had to delete that. I didn't delete delayed requests. Just delete everything inside the folder and delete these two loose files. So do not delete the delay requests. If you did delete it, 
um, just create a new folder. Uh, it's called delayed request, just like this right here. And you want to set the permissions to mobile, mobile, access permissions, write, read, write, execute, execute, execute. And only do this if you had accidentally deleted the delayed requests folder. Now, at this point, um, just close out of iFile completely. And now what you want to do is hold the home button and power button and let it reboot. After rebooting it, uh, try Game Center. If it logged in, then the Game Center app works. And go into settings, the settings app to make sure that the button actually is clickable and not freezing your uh, your settings app. So what this actually means to me is what what happened with Game Center is that there is some corruption of data in these files inside the game kit folder and probably also the delayed request folder so that's probably why the game center wasn't working for you and this will this to get your game center back up this is the only method that works so far and just restoring your device won't work um sometimes it could work for you, but I didn't want to do this because I didn't want to lose my jailbreak. Now, you can launch any game that required Game Center. Launch that and see if it works. And if it does, that's good. Um, what you deleted in iFile, what you deleted here, like in the delayed request, this wasn't wiping your saves or anything. This is just all the cache that was in your... Uh, folder here. This was all the cache, uh, meaning all those leftover files that they used and threw it in this folder here, which could be corrupted so it wouldn't let the game actually load. So um, that is it, I guess, and uh, this just clears out the cache of the files and lets your phone start building a fresh set. If this has helped you, just leave a comment below and uh, let me know that it actually helped you because it did help me. And, uh, yeah, I found this, I found this out. And, uh, that is basically it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.